A line, on the surface of the Earth, which crosses the meridians at a constant angle is called a rhomb line. The shortest distance between any two points on the surface of a sphere is the arc of a great circle. It is more convenient for a pilot, when using a magnetic compass or direction indicator to fly a constant track direction. This can be achieved by following a rhomb line track. A rhomb line crosses all meridians of longitude at the same angle and will appear on the surface of the Earth as a curved line concave to the nearer pole. Despite the fact that it might look the shortest on a chart in some projections, a rhomb line track is not the shortest track from one point to the other on a sphere. Following a great circle track is rather inconvenient as the direction changes all the time. The difference between great circles and rhomb lines is most dominant at higher latitudes. For larger changes of longitude and for longer distances, the IKO charts are based on the Lambert's conformal conic projection. In this type of projection the great circle track appears as a straight line. In terms of practical navigation, a straight line on the chart represents the shortest connection. That is it for this week. Next week I will answer a new pilot technical question.